The Excel function VLOOKUP is quite possibly one of the most useful functions in Excel and quite possibly one of the most used functions. It's a very easy function to use once you've just had a little bit of practice with it but most users tend to panic when they realize that they need to um, use the VLOOKUP. With a, with a little bit of practice um, using it a couple of times you'll actually find it very easy. And what I've done here is I've set up myself a table of data containing um, four countries in England and January to December and some sales figures. So we've got some um, sample values here that we want to look up. So first of all I want to look up what the value was in June for England. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tell Excel to look for England in column B and then we're going to ask, to ask, ask it to move across on the row where it finds England the number of columns until it gets to June. Now you'll see that column numbering starts with um, one in the first column of our table. So I'm going to start off our function with equals V lookup, open a bracket, and then we're going to make a, um, a reference to the cell that contains the row value that we're looking up, which in this case is England. And then we're going to put in a comma in and we're going to add our array of data. So we're going to start with column B and row 2 and we're going to highlight across to column N and row 6. That's our table highlighted. Now the key thing to remember here, and I see users, I see new users to Excel doing this an awful lot, is that they don't always realize that the lookup value that looking up has to be in the first column that they've highlighted. There'll be no point in highlighting this range of data here because Excel will be looking for England then in column A. So we must be we must highlight from column B onwards in this case. We then need to come across however many rows it is until we, or columns until we get to June. In this case we can see that June is in the seventh column of our table. So that's not the seventh column of Excel because if we were starting at A then that would be the eighth column. We're starting from column B. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to June. So we're going to put another comma in and so we're going to move across seven columns and then we're almost always going to use false as the last argument and then close our brackets and then we simply hit enter and we can see that we've got back our value of 6487 so just looking at that again B12 was the value we want to look up we then put our made a reference to our table of data which started at column B because that was where our um, data was that we're looking up in this case England we went from B2 to N6 so our whole table highlighted and then we told Excel to look across from the row where it finds our lookup value to move across seven columns and then to bring back the value and finally we used false and like I say it will be very very rare occasions perhaps never in your career of using Excel might you need to use true it's for um, well that would be for another lesson um, okay so let's try another one so Scotland equals VLOOKUP we always start with equals VLOOKUP and open a bracket and again we're going to start off in, we're, sorry, we're going to highlight the value that we want to look up, which in this case is Scotland. And we're going to put a comma in, and then we're going to highlight our table of data, again starting at column B, a comma, and then we're going to put the number of columns we want to move across. So we're looking for September, so we want column 10. And again, false close the brackets, hit enter and we've got for Scotland 8810 ok so let's do another one for Wales equals be lookup, open a bracket select Wales as our lookup value comma 
highlight our table of data from column B again, comma, and we're now looking for um, January, so we want column 2, and false, enter, and lastly Northern Ireland, but not least, equals VLOOKUP, highlight Northern Ireland, cell B15, comma, highlight our table of data, and this time we're looking for December, so we're going to come across 13 columns, and false, and enter, and we've got 10,044. Let me just show you what would happen if we just put in column one. You'll see that we'll just return back to the country that we looked up. So if I look up Northern Ireland and a comma, and I could just highlight the one column because we're going to bring in back the value from column one and false and enter. We see we bring back. Northern Ireland because we were just looking for the value in the first column. And that is how to use VLOOKUP. It is so much quicker to just type the values in than it is to use the Excel helper. And um, as you start to uh, use the VLOOKUPs more, you'll really appreciate um, knowing how the function works more to be able to type them in yourself. There is another um, helpful hint when using VLOOKUP and that is when you have a, um, a table of data in another sheet which potentially, I mean, if we imagine here that if we highlight just this table here, what if we opened another office in Paris and Paris appeared down here, in fact, apologies. Um, well, if some more data appeared down here, it might be Paris, it might be Paris. Let's just copy those same figures in there, put them down here. And we found now, because we only highlighted those columns before, or those rows, we've now missed this. In fact, if I look in here, you can see we're only highlighting England to Northern Ireland. We've missed off Paris. So what if, um, we just highlighted all the columns. So let's do, let's add in Paris and let's move all these values across to here. We'll see why in a second. And we're going to look for, let's look for June again. Okay, so equals VLOOKUP and we want Paris. This time, rather than highlighting just our table of data, because we might get another row in here yet, might be uh, Madrid, let's highlight just the columns. Now, this is saying that every, that we want to have just columns B to N but every single row in the spreadsheet. So as long as we don't have any other data down here, which might, um, which the VLOOKUP might pick up um, on um, in error, um, then we're quite safe to use this. So I can now type in that I want to come across to column seven for June. And again, false, close the brackets, hit enter, and one, one, six, eight, three for June and Paris and it wouldn't matter even if I now had Paris if I get rid of that data and I put it down here as you can see it doesn't matter that um, where I put this anywhere all the way down to a hundred thousand rows down it will still get get picked up with this with the same V lookup and if I change the value in June in here, you'll just see that that's correct. 
should see a change on here there we go you see we still picked up the same value okay I hope that um, that's helped you in some way in using VLOOKUPs and gives you some hints and tips for using them better uh, by just using columns rather than a um, fixed range okay thank you bye, -bye.